Hello dear students, welcome back to your chemistry class. Today I'm here with another new topic which is called salts. So, for, so far we have studied about the three main types of inorganic compounds which were the first one, yes, that was oxides, acids and bases. And this is the last part and they are salts. So let's start with salt. Salt are ionic compounds generally formed by the neutralization reaction of an acid with a base. So as we studied the, in the properties of the base and uh, acid, when a base reacts with an acid, they uh, produce salt. So mm, mostly the salt is made from this reaction, which is also called the reaction of neutralization. So, salt is made of two parts. Salt actually has two parts. As most of the ionic compounds, it also has two parts. One is the positive part and another one is the negative part. So, the positive part, what is that? A cation or metallic ion derived, uh, derived from a base. So, the positive part comes from a base. Therefore, it is called basic radical. It is also called basic radical because it comes from a base. Now, here we have the negative part. The negative part is an anion derived, derived from an uh, acid, sometimes a radical. It can be an anion or as simply we say an element or a group of elements. So, an anion or a radical, therefore it is called acidic radical. So this is the general formula for the neutralization equation, acid plus base, then it will make salt and water. Here we have HCl, hydrochloric acid with KOH, what is the name? Potassium hydroxide. So we will have the name KCl, which we are going to study, and H2O. So that was all about the salt. Now let's go to the uh, nomenclation. Uh, sorry, nomenclature of salt. First, because we know that salt is made of two parts, the positive and the negative. What to do is, first write the name of the basic part. Which one? The positive radical. Mostly the basic part is a positive radical. It is actually a metal with a positive charge. So the name is the same as an element itself. For example, if it is sodium, the radical of sodium is also called sodium. If it is magnesium, so the radical is also called magnesium. And the second part, write the name of the acidic part. Which one? Radical. The negative radical. So, as we talked, it can be an ion or it can be a group of elements or radical. So, if it is an ion, add IDE, IDE to the end of the element. For example, if it is an element like chlorine, so write like this, not chlorine, like Chloride, chloride, ID. If it is bromine, write bromide. If it is fluorine, write fluoride. Okay? Add only IDE. But if it is a radical, write its name. So there are radicals with specific names. And why we call them like that or like this, we will study in 11th grade, inshallah. But now, memorize these four and mostly we use it in the salt. SO4 with minus 2 is called sulfate. SO3 with minus 2 is called sulfide. PO4 minus 3 is called phosphate. And PO3 minus 3 is called phosphide. So they are four famous radicals. Now let's 
have some example that about these notes. So, sodium with chlorine. As we talked, write the name of the element itself. The positive, which one? Sodium is has positive charge. So, write sodium. And then, chlorine. Do not write chlorine. Write chloride. I D E. Calcium. The positive one. The same as its. Uh, the name is the same as the element. And B R. Bromine actually, but because it has negative charge here, so that's why we call it bromide. We add IDE and AL aluminium. Aluminium here we write and SO4. SO4, what's the name? It is sulfate. So aluminium sulfate. So easy. Uh, that was all about the salts and how do we name the salts? So, if you have any question, you can comment down below. And for more videos, subscribe our channel. Have a nice day. Goodbye.